I wanted to introduce you to a new tool that I really love. It's called Vishmi, and it's kind of like an alternative to Canva, but not really. I would say you could use it in addition to Canva. However, once you look at the prices, you might be like, I just need to use one over the other. And so just to be upfront, Vishmi is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it because you have a ton of designs in Canva, and I think you get overwhelmed, at least I do, where I'm like, okay, I got a lot of stuff, but I don't really know if I like it or I want it. And it's kind of like when you have too much clutter on your desk or digital clutter on your files and you just can't find anything. And sometimes I feel like that when I'm in Canva and that's also the reason I never use it. Um, but this me actually has less, but it's higher quality and they just look a little bit more professional and kind of like they've narrowed it down to what they think you want instead of like, Canva, I feel like it's just throwing spaghetti on the wall and they're like, maybe somebody will want something and they have like hired millions of designers to just like throw a bunch of templates in there. So that's the main difference. But today I'm gonna walk you through a little tutorial because I think that it's definitely something worth checking out. And I know that I love it and I'm gonna keep using it. I use it for my presentations and it looks just a little bit more high end in terms of the finished product, as well as I think one of the biggest advantages is the fact that it's more interactive, right? So it has more animations that you can do. And I know Canva has just recently added animations, but this means been doing it for longer. And like if you, I have an in Microsoft Excel chart and I want to make like an infographic, I can actually change the data in Excel inside of this me versus like Canva, you're just kind of like, I found a pie chart that kind of looks like it's shaped to what I need. So I'll just put in some fake numbers and hope it looks correct. So. I feel like that's one of the biggest uh, main differences, especially if you're like me and you like doing, I do slides all the time. I don't know if you've noticed, but like when I do the plan with me, those are slides. When I do new trainings for a course, there's just tons of slides. When I do a webinar, it's all slide, slide, slide. So I'm always looking to spruce up my slides and make them prettier. And the best part is there is actually a planner calendar component inside of here, and I will show you that as well. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every day. So I'm gonna flip the screen so we can all look at the same stuff. All right, so first of all, in terms of pricing, you can definitely do the basic, but I would 100% recommend trying out the personal first for the first month because you don't get access to all the templates and you might do the basic free one and be like, oh, it doesn't have all the templates that I need or that I like, and really it does, but you won't be able to see them because those are in the personal. Now I actually have business, and the only reason I have business is because I do like to download things as PowerPoints, as you know, I enjoy making slides all the time. So this way I can make all of my slides in here, but then I can download them and still edit them myself in another application. So that's why I have that. And obviously I have the monthly, if you commit to a year, it's going to be much less expensive. So they also have a blog, just like other design tools, and they have things that I actually want and like am interested in. So very robust blog. They're they're obviously posting to it multiple times a day. So uh, lots of great information here, even if you're not going to use the tool. Um, and so the best part is once you get into VisMe, see where it says brand wizard? All you have to do is enter your URL and it will literally just pull all of your branding for you, like your colors, your fonts, like everything else is already in there and loaded. And then also if you have a team, um, cause you're a rock star and you're like telling people like assistants what to go do, you can lock this me so that then they are limited to only using your colors and your fonts on the designs that they make inside this me. So you really don't have to micromanage or do any checking on the quality because this me will just make sure to do it for you. So let's log in and make something together. So last month I created two projects. One is this one that everyone gets for free. If you had watched my Dubsado versus 
um, HoneyBook video. And so it was like a comparison chart, kind of like you see standard. I was able to, like if I had wanted to swap out these green icons, I could have, um, and I was able to add in my own text. I also made the um, HoneyBook workflow. So I really like the workflow that was already set up in there. I just edited it with the colors that I liked and added in my own data and that's all I had to do. And then I was able to export that as a PNG and incorporate that into my PDF. So the PDF obviously did not get these fun animations like you saw there um, or this one either, but that's okay. Uh, I wasn't really using it for that purpose, but if you like this, you could use that for that. And you know, I'm not on social media, but if you are, this could be a really cool feature because you can download these as GIFs or as videos and upload it to TikTok or to Instagram Live or anything like that. And then you'll just look kind of cool and interactive at the same time. So let's go over here. If I say create a new project, um, there are a ton of different things you can do. So even if you open one, don't worry, you'll still see all of the other options. So I obviously, my go-to is presentations and I have wasted a ton of money buying, you know, PowerPoint templates where you don't really need to. This does it all for you. There's like so many different layouts. They all look very high end. They all look very nice. And again, as soon as you change to your own colors, it will change to your own colors as well. It changes the size too. Um, so lots of different ways to use this. Infographics. So I really liked it for infographics, mostly because again, when you purchase an infographic template, it's usually an Illustrator or Photoshop and it's so difficult to edit versus this one is super, super easy. So let's say I wanted to do something fun like with a timeline. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And all of them are really easy. Um, so over here, I can just change this. So let's say I just don't like the font, right? So I can change this down here to different font pairs, right? And they're already inside of here. They've given you some options so you don't have to go out to a blog and look at font pairings. Um, they're there's a list and I actually like them. I think they've done a really great job. And then you don't have to buy the fonts either, which is another huge plus. And yes, you can upload your own fonts to here as well if you'd like to use those, but I don't know why you would. We can try so many different things out. Um, what else could we do? So we could also change the colors on this. So if we close this out um, and let's say I don't really, like red's maybe not my thing. So maybe my color is purple. So if I had these, in, they have some palettes that are already preset for you. Um, they have more palettes. You can add your own palette over here as well. Uh, but we're just gonna kind of change these on the fly. So I like my purple. Actually, we'll just put my brand color in, 882096. Uh, yes, I just have it memorized. And now it is purple. Also, it's a little more intuitive. So like if I wanna change this, all I have to do is double click it and the color palette shows up. So again, um, I can change this back over to my purple and see how it's 35%. Usually when you get these in Canva, you have to find one that's already 35%, right? Or you have to like overlay another half circle. It's just not easy. Whereas this, it actually is kind of smart and I can just increase the value and it will automatically increase the infographic. Like I've literally never seen a tool that does this. So it's really nice. Uh, text color, again, we'll just use purple. So then everything is gonna match and be purple. Um, you can also just hit the edit button up here as well. And I could just keep going down and making all these changes. Now, if I don't like this, so maybe I'm gonna talk about something else. I'm gonna talk about uh, I don't know, uh, pens, right? So instead what I could do is I could come over here to graphics and there's a lot of preloaded graphics inside of here. So maybe I want an icon for a, what did I say, pen? <laughs> so I have a pen, I can look it up. There's like vectors, there's photorealistic ones, there's different drawings. Um, so I'm just gonna use like, let's say this is kind of a classic one here. And so I'm gonna delete this one and all I have to do is drag and drop. It's so easy. Like when we talk about drag and drop editors, this is a drag and drop editor. Um, so it's really easy to use as well. And let's say, or let's say I don't really like that pen, so I'm gonna use maybe a photo. So this has access to a ton of free photos as well as it allowing you to upload your own photos. Obviously this is my headshot <laughs> folder. Um, you can have your own images that are already preloaded in here, right? So like I have the pretty fabulous one. So you just click it once, 
it just pops it right out there. Uh, this is a JPEG instead of a PNG, so it looks a little weird. Um, and you can throw it there. And it's gonna also tell you, this isn't part of your document, it's just telling you what size it is. And you can definitely change this on the fly as well. Um, so tons of different things. Let's just go down this list. Photos, um, data, and I don't think I showed you everything. There's so many things inside graphics, right? There's 3D graphics, if that's something you're into. Um, there is illustrations. There is also, um, and the best part is they have special effects that you can add as well. So if you wanna add that little celebration, that will go over here. So that's an animation. Like I said, this is like light years beyond Canva when it comes to animation. These just been doing it longer and they're better at it. Same thing over here. So remember I mentioned you can upload a an Excel table and then actually have some real-time infographics here as well. And then over here for media, uh, you can actually embed video. So you can send these two as a link. Uh, so when you actually share this, so over here is the share button. You can share this for the web and then just give someone access to this. So just like I use issue, you could use this instead and then it's interactive for them and they can click around, they can see videos. It's like having an interactive document without having to create it from scratch. You can also share things privately with specific people um, and you can embed this into your own website. So it won't even seem like it has to go to a VisMe site it'll just be embedded onto your own site. And then of course you are able to download this as well. So you can do it as a JPEG or PNG, which is pretty standard. Um, you can change it to high resolution and you can also, this is kind of new, you can change it to block. So I feel like with Canva, they're like the only place you could ever edit this thing is with us versus this is kind of trying to help you out. And they're like, okay, so we'll do this as multi pages. There's different blocks you can move around. Uh, so you're not totally stuck with only using this me. You could make this a PDF. You could do a video. Like I said, you could do an MP4 or a GIF for social media. And also let, this is the feature that I have because I have business, which is I can download this as a PowerPoint. Um, all right, so let's keep going over here on the left. So you have stock, you have videos. Um, so you can up upload your own videos and you can embed videos just from a link without having to upload the MP4. And you have default theme colors. So you can check check you can pick different colors see how it just changed everything automatically so this would be pretty easy and this might also be a really great reason to just put your own branding colors in there so that way no matter what you pick out um your assistant or yourself can just go ahead and click one of these buttons and then the whole presentation just automatically has the look and feel of your company and it looks like it came directly from you and then over here for files, so we can see all those files that I uploaded, you can see your repository. You can also, if you want, go ahead and delete them if it's just getting a little too crowded or you uploaded something on accident. And then over here for apps, this is everything that it integrates with, which is pretty much all of the major applications out there. So. I love this me. I know this has been a long tutorial, um, but it's so easy to use. Like anything you want to do, just double click it. You can resize things really easy. Um, you know, this is actually easier to use than Photoshop. So uh, I love it. I think it's a great tool. Definitely check it out. I will leave a link for it below. Before I go, I forgot to show you planners and calendars. So when you type in planners, you're mostly going to see more like infographics, like the itinerary for Turkey, um, travel stuff. You will see planner pages like this, weekly planner, uh, fitness plan, daily planner. So they do have some different planner page layouts and then you can rinse and repeat and duplicate that for yourself. And then they also, if you put in the word calendar, if you spell it correctly, <laughs> um, they have 45 different calendar variations. Now these are pre-populated with the correct dates and layouts. Uh, so they have 2021 calendars as well as 2022 in addition to that. And so you can add a different picture to these. You can change the color scheme. So you can actually also, so let's say you just need a layout. So you could copy this layout and paste it into another totally different document. So I really like this, uh, mostly because with Canva, you just get what you get versus with Vishmi, you can 
pull those out and then plop them into something else because everything's dynamic and moves around. So uh, I think that's one huge advantage that Visme has over Canva if you are looking to create planners inside of this tool. All right, that was it. I hope everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.